In this video, I want to show you how to set up from the very beginning your iPad 11 with the A16 chip. So let's get started right away. Out of the box, you'll have to keep press the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Then you can release the power button. Then swipe up and you're gonna get this, this first menu appearing to you. It's time to select your language. So go ahead and select one of these. I'll select English. Now tap on your country. Again, you have a lot of choices over here. And it will ask you which appearance would you prefer. You have the default one, with, uh, which I suggest leaving. Medium, which will make everything slightly bigger and large, which is very for, it's mostly for people that has trouble seeing properly. And you know, everything will be blowed up. I'll leave it to default and press continue. To set up the iPad, you can use another iPad if you had one in the past, or an iPhone if you prefer. If you have one of these devices and you want to do this, simply bring it closer to your iPad and it will be recognized over here. You see, right now it's looking. Or you can set it up as a brand new iPad without another Apple device, which I will do by clicking on Setup without another device. Tap on your Wi-Fi network and type the password of this Wi-Fi. Then tap on the check mark. At this point, you just have to wait. Press Continue. If you are an adult, Select adult. If this iPad will be given to a child or a teen, you can have these options as well. But I'll select adult. If you want to configure the touch ID, which is over here, it's a fingerprint sensor, which I recommend. This way you'll be able to unlock the iPad using your fingerprint, pay for stuff and many other things. Press continue and simply put your finger on the power button. Don't press the power button, simply Put it many times, just the way I'm doing it, while changing slightly the position of your finger. Okay, press more. Then you can press continue. Scan the side of this finger, so simply put it over here, but using the sides mostly. So the whole finger is scanned. You're gonna get added, press continue. If you want to add another finger, you can do the same thing. So you can add, let's say your pinky has a backup, whatever, or set up later in settings if you don't wanna add another fingertip. Over here, create a passcode for your iPad. This is in case the touch ID is not working, we have something else to rely on. So I'll create a password, okay, a very easy one. Don't uh, make an easy one like I do. Over here, if you don't want to transfer any apps from another device, select don't transfer anything. And now it's time to sign in into your Apple account. You're not obligated to do it. The thing is, if you don't, you will not be able to download any apps from the App Store which in my opinion defeats the purpose of having an iPad. If you don't have an account, you can click on forgot password or don't have an account. For this video, I will not sign in just to save some time, but if I was you, but if I were you, I will do it right now. So I'll just click on set up later. Then you're gonna press agree. It will ask if you want to update your iPad automatically every time there is an update available. If you want that, press continue and I suggest you do it. Turn on location services. Here you're not obligated to agree with screen time, which is simply a way of showing you how much you're using your iPad. So let's say you can see each day how many hours you use it. If you don't want this feature, I don't like it. I'll click on setup later in settings. If you like this feature, press continue. Over here, you can click don't share. And finally, they will ask you, how do you want your iPad to look? So light colors, automatic, which means that during the daytime, it will be light colors and the nighttime, it will darken all the menus. 
You see, I prefer auto. If you want Siri, uh, the assistant, so you can ask uh, to lower the volume or search for certain things. Well, you can press continue and you will be enabling this feature. If you want to do it later, you can set it up later. Over here, you have two different choices. How do you want multitasking of, on your iPad? The first way, and they will show you a small example over here, it's opening all the apps in full screen, okay? And the second one is full screen and window, uh, windowed app, which means, I don't know if you see over here, it'll be like a window you can drag. I'm not convinced this is the best way in my case. Maybe you like it, you can try both. In my case, I'll stick on full screen apps get started and now we are on the home page of the iPad. So the iPad is set up, you can start using it, downloading apps from the App Store and do whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe and don't forget to comment down below. Even if it's negative, I always try to improve my videos, so leave a comment and don't forget also to check my Amazon links where I'll leave links towards cases, USB hubs, chargers, and other stuff that are compatible with your iPad 11. See you in the next video.